So just if we're so anti-wall, are we going to just take down the border that we currently have? Like, that's the question I feel like no one's asking. The wall, the if percentage so of it. Of, if we're so oh, offended right. by Donald Trump's wall, why don't we take down the border security we currently have? Because we clearly don't need it. Yeah, take, take the fence around the White House down. What do we need that for? Doesn't stop anybody, yeah. right? Take and the security fence, systems. Take the, fence, take the fence around your kid's uh, private school down. Just take that one down. Take the fence that's around hmm. Hillary's or Donald's house. and just Well, not Donald. He likes fences. You take Hillary's it house. Just take it all down. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, why the, have, the why do I have a checkpoint at the border? What, what for? The Univision, um, the moderators asked a good question, actually. They basically pointed out a vote that both senators took in 2007 or 2008 about reinforcing the current border uh, wall that we currently have. Like, both senators voted in favor for that and voted to dedicate more money to reinforce the current wall. And they were like, how is that different than Donald Trump wanting to make a more secure wall? And Hillary's answer was, well... Trump's wall is going to be 10 feet tall and it's going to look great. And it was like, <laughs> well, I, the, the, this thing for me, the border thing is part and parcel of everything that's driving me insane, which is it makes no sense. We do have a first off. We have a law, right? I mean, look, forget about what, you know, every country has a law. Every country has borders. Yeah. Every country wants to know who's coming, who's going. Every it's country rules than us, by the way. has a system mm -hmm. of entering, yeah. working, leaving, keeping tabs on, yeah. work visas, whatever it is. Passports, so yeah. we have laws as well. We just do what we do with everything else. Well, we have speed limits. Yes. What do we do? We enforce them. Yeah. Uh, we have a law. Just enforce the law. And if you can't enforce the law or you need an aid to enforce the law. We have speed limits, but the cops aren't on horses. They're on a form of horse. They're driving a Mustang or something's got a V8 in it. They're not driving a solar-powered piece of crap. It has a little torque ratio. They have a little torque ratio going because they want to catch speeders, and now we've now hidden them places, and they got their radar guns and whatever, and I don't like it, but it's a law that we enforce. Um, let's. Okay, how about this? Hillary and whomever who wants to call me a racist, how about I'll just treat the IRS like you treat this, these laws? I'll just go, hey, man, come on. You're not going to come down on me, Wait are you? I'm just not, I don't want, hey, you're not going to make me pay, are you? I don't want to pay. Like, I'm, I'm working, man. Leave me alone. Like, of course, we wouldn't do that with the IRS. It's very dangerous to cross the border, too. So are we saying that we're actually pro-creating a dangerous situation for these people who are trying to leave these terrible situations in their own country. So, like, kids get abducted. This is exactly where sex you slavery pay happens. You coyotes with these to get them. I, I, that's the whole thing. It's just... No, but, it's inhumane. It's well, inhumane to actually... So, if you're saying that you don't wall, want a wall, then you're saying that you want people to go to this treacherous situation. Is well, that, here's my thing. If, if nobody came here illegally, then I wouldn't want a, a wall. If we had some apparatus in place that was so advanced we didn't need a wall then i wouldn't want a wall either if it was everything worked out no wall but because we can't seem to figure out anything then i do but i just like to stop illegal immigration I, it's such a weird thing where it's like oh so you're yeah even again used to be illegal immigrant now it's like you're you're racist or you're you know it's undocumented worker mm -hmm. or whatever it is but also, I'd like a little room for folks who want to come in the legal route to come in the legal route as well. I don't, I don't know. Why. It's a weird thing that it's so controversial. It, do you think, and there's probably countries in Europe who hate themselves, maybe like Germany, but when has illegal immigration been such a controversial topic in a country? It's kind of a no-brainer as a country. It's illegal. Mm -hmm. It's people coming in that you're not aware of, and no country can tolerate that. Mm -hmm. Every country, hopefully, will have some sort of process to bring in the best and the brightest or the people who need it the most. But I don't, I, I, the fact that we argue over it's a bizarre argument. I, I it find. is on its face illegal. That's on, it's, it's illegal, but also 
Every country just sits down and decides, okay, where are your borders? Okay, here's our borders. Who's your, who are your neighbors? That's okay, because they don't want to solve the problem. Like, both political parties gain something from this fight. Right. If they wanted to solve the problem, they could sit down and figure it out. Like, I'm sure, but it's, a weird, it's weird that we're arguing over it because not only do we have laws, but we all agree as a nation that we want this. Right. But yet it's so controversial. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a weird... Forever. It's a weird thing. Like, if, you, if it's just your house, and I kept leaving the front gate open, and the dog kept getting out, or some found some hobo sleeping on the porch, and my wife said, hey, shut the gate, because the dog got out, and the thing, and we wouldn't have a wouldn't have a five year argument That's about all I it want too. I want that too, but I believe shutting that gate is closing my heart to the hobo. You know, like <laughs> no, I don't want to send the message to the dog that the you don't understand the message it sends to the dog when I shut the gate. Like no, you just you'd have a problem, you'd shut the gate. I, I think that would be it. Huh? And once in a while you'd screw up and leave it open and the dog would get out, but for the most part you'd you you'd both agree as people who live in this house that we'd like the gate shut. Yeah. Well, what? Why is this the most? I know why it is. It's so Hillary Clinton gets to pretend like this person is evil and a racist, and then she spits out a little Spanish, and then she gets some more votes. I, I, I get that that part of it, but that, don't people see through that? No, obviously not. I well, because not. the Democrats have something to gain from these illegal people that are coming in are more likely, if they get the path to citizenship, they're more likely to vote Democrat. And the Republicans have something to gain from abstaining these people, from not allowing them to come here because nativists feel better about it. And again, like if these people are more likely to vote Democrat, they don't want them to be able to vote. It's really not about these people. They're pawns in all of this. It's about the two parties and a political play and just power. Okay. I, of course it is. It's never about what it is, because what it is is nothing. It's like you have a, you live in a sovereign nation and you have borders. Mm-hmm. Okay, for the other one. I don't know what the deal is. <laughs> but it's weird that we have to do this. And it's also weird that in this day of endless information known as the Internet, we're all dumber than we, we ever were.